Hi, I'm Sarah Fonda. I've got a passion I want to share with you today. My passion is to pass on an important message that having a hobby will enrich people's lives. There is a way to help those who have a deep craving for companionship and feeling useful to society. Whether it's the old or frail, the disabled, the homebound, the economically disadvantaged, or the newly arrived migrant. Everyone has the right to feel engaged and fulfilled, to feel that their life has a purpose, and that they are making an important contribution to society. No one should be left out. Do you know someone who's lonely or isolated, who has lost their joy in life? And I'm here to share with you a way to help them to discover a purpose for living, to feel that they are part of the community. After 38 years of working with people from all walks of life, I've seen the miracles and benefits of having a hobby. It can bring relief of stress and depression. It can change life by making the person feel useful again and part of society. It's like a breath of fresh air that brings self-achievement and self-respect. A person who has passion can feel full of life and can handle and tackle life's problems with more ease and joy. So having a passion is crucial for a dignified life. I have found that hobbies are wonderful for building relationships. Sharing your passion with a loved one is a great opportunity to strengthen relationships. During this quality time, together, both can enjoy and learn from each other's company while building lasting bonds and memories of love and respect towards each other. Next time your grandchildren come around for a visit, make it a fun quality time. Together, you can create sock puppets, wall hangings, monsters, aliens, or whatever you're in the mood for. Even the tiniest pieces can be threaded to make jewelry. Just imagine the delight of your granddaughter with her new earrings or a bracelet. Children learn from their tribe skills that are not taught in schools. And if you don't teach your grandchildren to crochet, then who will? Imagine the excitement and pleasure of the young ones when they can show their parents a soft toy that they made themselves. Crafting with children is an opportunity for the grandparents to feel useful and appreciated. Their beloved grandchildren gain respect and admiration for their grandparents, new skills and a sense of achievement. It's a win-win situation all around. Be involved in your community. The biggest gift that you can give someone is to make them feel valuable and useful. If a person can see that their contribution is of value, they're more likely to participate. So it's up to the organisations, but particularly family and carers, to offer them this value. One way is to try to get people to be a volunteer. Volunteering has a meaningful and positive impact on people and on the community. For the volunteer, it's an opportunity to meet new people, maintain or learn new skills, and give back to their community. But most importantly, the person will gain the joyous feeling that they are able to help their fellow men. There are hundreds of projects that can be made for charities in need. Some examples are sewing, knitting, crocheting, blankets, as soft toys for the sick, for the elderly, for the children, or even animals in shelter. Let me tell you, hobbies are not only healthy, but they're lots of fun. Engaging in pleasurable activities not only calms the mind and soul, but it improves health. There's a large amount of scientific evidence that proves that hobbies are good for our health and our relationships. On medical level, having a hobby has been compared to a miracle drug. Studies have proven that hobbies like knitting 
actually reduce stress, the risk of heart disease, anxiety and depression. So take up your needles, they're good for you. Do you know that hobbies are healthy for our planet and for your pocket too? Recycling is fun, encourages people to use household trash. This guarantees that everyone can afford this natural remedy. When you use recycled materials, it's also good for your pocket and for the environment. It's important to realise that all materials can easily be found around the house or from friends and neighbours. Next time you're ready to throw out an old sweater or a sheet, a plastic tub, an egg carton, bottles, jars, shoe boxes, wire hangers, toilet rolls, cardboard, tins, I could go on forever. Remember that these materials can provide you and your loved ones with hours of fun activities. We have hundreds of photos of samples for you to get inspired from our website, recyclingisfun.com.au. And there are endless resources on the internet for further ideas. We have projects for everyone. Maybe many of you have never done crafts before because you believe that you are not talented enough. We've made over 3,000 samples of projects to suit people from any age group, degree of ability, mobility and capacity. All of our projects can either be done whole or broken down into easy, more manageable sections. Look, you can sort, you can wind, you can cut, you can sew, you can stuff, knit, decorate, Everyone can do the part that they feel comfortable and enjoy doing. You can make a difference for yourselves, for your family, for your friend, for a person in need, and above all, for your planet, by taking up a hobby, having fun, while you turn trash into treasure.